welcome back to Food Prep Friday. I am so excited. This is actually the fourth week I'm doing this. I am just so blown away how quickly it's gone and how much of a difference it has made to the ease of each day in our family's life and our food options. I don't actually have record of like costs and all that kind of stuff but I've been able to buy less packet food. We've definitely been eating less takeaways like way less and the kids have got options in the freezer for different types of foods which is really good because I find if we make the same thing over and over again they just get sick of it. So anyway, today what I've got um, on plan is different from the things I have been previously making which is good because I'm going to be mixing it up and not always sharing the same stuff every week that I make. If I have made it previously it will just be a very short snippet. We are going to make a lemonade icebox. I have got um, a bit of an abundance of lemons that have fallen off my tree. I'm going to trial a pancake. Yeah. So I've got this large ball jar and I've created a recipe for the blog but I wanted to turn it into the dry mix and then work out how much dry mix you'll need to make up one batch of pancake. We have breakfast for dinner occasionally, like probably every fortnight or so. I thought if I have a jar of this mixed up it will be easier to do on a breakfast for dinner night or do a little batch for the kids after school or in the weekend for breakfast. wanted to trial it and then be able to share all the details on the blog so it's a bit of a recipe test situation. Then I'm going to be grating cheese just for like pizzas and like a couple of recipes today and I, it's just so handy having a stash of grated cheese in a container in the fridge. Last night we had Moroccan chicken pitters and I was able to just pull out the grated cheese to add to that if anybody wanted it and it was so good. For lunch boxes to freeze I'm going to make these pizza pocket cheese kransky dough dogs. Every time I make them they're like demolished straight away. I actually brought a bag of mini crunch. I thought if I just make up the whole batch and I freeze them and then we can pull them out every day for lunch boxes or whatever. That would work way better in terms of going further. The girl's not running out of things to eat in their lunch boxes. I'll do a batch of plain pasta because my girls really love being able just to have that as a snack. I picked up this massive marrow from my grand's garden yesterday. So I'm gonna make a batch of my double chocolate zucchini muffins to freeze and then I will rate the remain freeze that for meal as well. Chocolate brownie and then a batch of mayo to keep in the fridge for the next week for meals or lunches. It always sounds like a lot when I read it out but I end up getting it done and I do get really nervous about being able to do it all and it actually is quite exhausting in terms of like cooking efficiently and cleaning and then obviously the filming and then the editing and writing up any notes that I could write in the company. Let's do this. Now we're going to make the dry pancake mix to have in the pantry on hand whenever we want to make pancakes. Or little pie clips. They're really good. This recipe makes really nice fluffy pancakes and I really like it. It could be a really great gift to give to people. So I'm going to weigh all my ingredients. I still haven't got myself, but I really need to do it because it's actually really annoying. So that's ready 
to go. Now we're moving on to the doughs. So I'm doing two doughs, one for the Cheese Kransky dough dog and the other one for the pizza pockets. So bang it out together, pop it in the hot water cylinder and then once it's risen, I can do those two food items together. I'm gonna do them in the Thermomix. It's just so easy. I've actually never done these recipes before. Well, I have done the dough dogs, but I actually used to do them in the cafe. Not organized at all. I normally do like this prep before I film each little segment so it takes away filming time. <laughs> This is our dusty girl. You might hear her. <laughs> she cleans up all the crumbs, don't you, Dusty? Yeah. in the Thermomix, which is so easy, so I don't have to watch it. Just drying this off from the doughs that I made. I like to keep one bowl savoury and one bowl sweet. One thing I really love when I am doing food prep is to listen. Like, I don't know if you can see, I've got like a earphone in. I listen to audiobooks when I'm doing my food prep and it, it just makes it way more enjoyable to listen to books while I'm busy in the kitchen. That boils for 10 minutes. Then I come back and add the pasta. Now that that's doing its thing, I'm gonna get ready for the next recipe. So in amongst making pasta, I actually made the zucchini muffins in the Thermomix and the brownie. So I didn't actually get the chance to film it all because of my storage space issue. But here I am assembling the muffins ready to go in the oven have all these chilies in the garden well i'm pretty sure they're not chilies because they've got no spice whatsoever i've frozen them whole like a whole bag of them so what i thought i'd do is chop these all up remove the seeds and just have them in slice I'm calling them capsicum <laughs> they'll be like really great to add to pizzas and stuff So here I've actually rolled out all the doughs for the pizza pocket. So I've just kind of made them into rectangle shapes and popped them on an oven tray. I'm just sprinkling it with the cheese, ham, Italian herbs and the pizza sauce. And they're just going to get folded over and I'm going to pinch the edges with a fork and then do a little few holes on the top just to air vent them and bake them in the oven. Now I'm just going to wrap all the cheese Kransky's in the dough that I've actually cut into strips and then they just go on a baking tray and get baked in the oven. Oh, I brushed them with milk too. Okay. okay, that's a wrap. That has been the most intensive day I've had for food prep. It is 
10 to 3. Got to go in 10 minutes. I did this from 10, 20. Like this last stint was just waiting for things to cook. But yeah, it's been a big day. I'm exhausted. So I will run through what I made. I did the lemonade ice blocks. They're in the freezer. And then I've got two bottles of lemonade. I've got the pancake mix jar. Cup capsicum to freeze. And then we've got our grated courgette. This actual amount is to make the muffins again and then i've frozen other bits of it into solid squares so i can use it in meals have uh pizza pockets here i actually didn't count them but i will for the blog post and we've got our cheese kransky dough dogs they um smell incredible hope you can see them but there they are. So cute. Container of plain pasta. We have got our zucchini muffins. It makes quite a lot that um, recipe. I didn't get enough time to grate cheese, but I had enough to do the pizza pockets and I didn't get enough time to do mayo. So those will go on my next um, food prep day unless I need them before. I will be sharing these recipes in the blog post and I hope this is like really inspiring and helpful. Uh, see you next Friday. Brownie.